we got a good 45% left of our battery so that's about 45 minutes and um, I'm just really enjoying being out here today in the woods and just observing nature if nothing else but I never feel like I have to get a squirrel but it would be nice but I've got plenty in the freezer right now so um, I don't need to take any pot shots I'm Riveru Bay and welcome to my gun kingdom Marlin, uh, 1950. This is the gun that he took my mom um, on their first date. And uh, this is the gun that went with him. But this is a model, uh, 39A. Um, it's been in the family for a long time, of course. Now, if I would have brought my uh, 1957 Marlin 39A with the scope on it, I would have got a lot of shots today since there was a lot of activity, but there's more to squirrel hunting than just shooting squirrels. It's being out in nature, getting out of the house, and it's kind of like a vacation from your ordinary daily lives. And if you got a nice morning like we got right now, why not enjoy just that? It's not all about getting a squirrel, but it's the thrill of the hunt that actually is the best part. I always place myself uh, near hardwood trees. The squirrels are all around me. So I'm just waiting for a, a good shot. No more than 30 yards away with iron sights. Here comes one now. Now, I want to get into position because he's kind of behind me. They're very active this time of day. Uh, there's very little wind today. I would say it's probably under two miles an hour, if that. We got nice clear skies. The sun is coming up behind us because we always want our back to the sun as much as possible. That way we'll be able to see the squirrels a lot easier out in front of us. So we don't want to be looking into the sun. And I suppose I only sat here for like 10 minutes before I saw some activity. Now, it's more of a challenge to hunt with a firearm that has uh, iron sights and no scope. So you have to really pick your targets carefully. Especially if you're going for a headshot. I just don't like to take wild shots and accidentally hit them in the body. I want 
that headshot. Number one, because it's more sporting. And number two, you don't destroy any of the meat on the squirrel. Because there's not that much meat on the squirrel to begin with. Okay, there's one right in front of us. See him up there in the trees? I'm looking straight at him. Now, it would be easy to take a body shot from here. But I'm gonna wait till he comes into view. easy of a shot for me. Too easy. I'm going to wait till he gets a little bit higher. There he is. Move my gun slowly. There's a couple up in this tree. There's another one over there. He's right up there. I can't get a good clear head shot. He's moving around too much. Now he's getting out of distance for me. I can see his tail still. Yeah. later if I wait a little longer to have a better shot because I just got here like maybe 15 minutes ago and I'm out here for a good two hours maybe a little longer I got another spare battery with me here he comes again He's a little bit lower now. But anyway, I got a spare battery with me for the GoPro, so. Boy, he was just in the right position and he jumped to another branch. right here in this hickory tree, right in front of me. When you hunt with iron sights, you better have a lot of patience because hunting with a scope is so much easier and you should be able to bag your squirrel a lot faster than you can with iron sights unless you just got a lucky day so 
so in this hickory tree right ahead of us here we know there's squirrel in there so we just have to wait for them to get in the right spot for us there's very little wind today I would say it's probably under two miles an hour if that We got nice clear skies. The sun is coming up behind us because we always want our back to the sun as much as possible. That way we'll be able to see the squirrels a lot easier out in front of us. So we don't want to be looking into the sun. I see him. There he is right there. Just getting to stand still. He's getting too low now. Yep. He's getting way too low. Well, he's too close. There he goes. He's going back up now. Let's wait till he gets up here. Branches are in my way. Patience, patience, patience. Okay. I'm going to anticipate him going out on that limb in the sun. And I'll be able to see the bead on my front side better. There he goes. Now. Uh. Yeah. Nope, too many branches in the way. I don't like that shot at all. Pick your shot. You want the squirrel to actually stop and be still for a while. But when they're moving pretty quick along the branches and with open sights, when you're hunting with a 22, you really want one to be sitting still for you. So we wait again. Because if we take a pot shot at one of these squirrels, what's our chance of getting the squirrel? Stay close to a tree. There he is. Oh boy. He's sticking his head out there. He sees me. He's not very big. So there's not a lot of meat on that squirrel. He needs to grow up. I got squirrel in the freezer. So... 
I've got plenty to eat and that's why I came out here with my dad's Marlin 39A with open sights because I really don't need any more squirrel but if I get a good shot at one I'll take it but I don't need to there's a couple of squirrels in that tree right there let's, let's wait one of them come down this one branch so we'll get in position and wait for him to come into view here he comes okay let's be real quiet now let's wait for him here he comes There he is, right there. There he is, let's see if we can get him to stop. Nope. That might be that, that's that real small one, I think. Now, there's a bunch of branches covering him up. Uh, boy. He looks awful small. There's a good shot right there, but well, he's coming down to get some nuts. I just like to practice holding up the bead to him. He's too close, he's too close to the ground, but I'm gonna take a look at him. He might see me. Yeah, he sees me now. Yeah, he, that's a small, that's a small fox squirrel. Let's see what he does here. Yeah. Too easy of a shot right there. Let's see if he holds still. Perhaps put the bee on his head there. Yeah, definitely could take a shot at him, but he's too small of a squirrel. There wouldn't be en enough to meat on enough meat on him to eat, and why shoot him for the little meat that he's got on him? But also it's kind of an easy shot from there I don't know boy there's a shot right there but I can't really see his head all that great Now I can. But there's a twig right in front of his nose. We're going to forget about that little guy. Because there might be something big behind us here. So let's look over in this direction here.
He's still looking at me. He just isn't big enough. Let's keep an eye on our little buddy over there. He's still watching us. He's eating his morning breakfast. So we're gonna let him, let him do that. But he's just too doggone small. Okay, how small he is. shot right there yeah let's practice putting the bead on him going to shoot something for the sake of shooting it if it's not going to give me enough meat there's more to squirrel hunting than just that He's offered us plenty of opportunities, so hasn't he? What a really nice day to squirrel hunt. Temperature's perfect, probably about 55 degrees. Here comes one. This might, there's two of them playing. I don't want to move too quick. They're both coming down to the ground. They're right smack dab in front of us on that hickory tree. Boy, they're small too. Wow. Oh my gosh, they are. Well, this one coming right towards us, he's, he's pretty small. He doesn't even see us. Yeah, see how small he is? He is so small. Look at him. Now, he thinks he might see me. But he is probably... Eight feet from us. Watch. But look how small he is. Gosh. Yeah, see? There he comes. Yeah. He doesn't even know we're here. He probably hears that truck going by right now. No. He's awful small. But I would never shoot a squirrel on the ground. Now he sees me. He thinks he does. Yeah. He's turning around. It's okay. I've never had a wood squirrel this close to me. This is amazing. Look at him. I'm not going to shoot a squirrel on the ground. That's just not sporting to me. I want them up in the trees, up in the treetops. And then another thing, you got to be careful. 
you know, another reason why you don't want to shoot them on the ground. There could be other hunters in the woods. And you don't want your bullet to ricochet and if you miss, accidentally hit somebody. So, it's always better to aim up in the trees. It's a lot safer. And it's more challenging anyway. I didn't plan on doing this uh, segment or actually uploading this video uh, for you today, but um, I thought it was important today. And it's not, when you go squirrel hunting, it's not all about getting a squirrel. Um, sometimes it's, uh, it's about letting the small ones go since they don't have that much meat on. And uh, as we see in, in the footage uh, today, that we got to see some squirrels on the ground up close to us. And of course, we're not gonna shoot a squirrel on the ground. It's not very sporting to do. But, um, so anyway, I didn't bring the big camera out with me today. Uh, I just brought the GoPro and, um, you know, I, I wanted to do something different instead of taking you to the range today and doing a video there, I thought I'd take you to the woods here and uh, just enjoy nature. And that's what I got to do today. And I hope you enjoyed it too. But, uh, you know, I got to see uh, a lot of squirrel today, a lot of good activity. Um, I have some friends that I want to bring squirrel hunting this year, so. I know where to bring them and where to place them here in the woods for the best chances of getting them. And uh, I would enjoy that just as much as myself getting a squirrel. But, uh, I'll never forget the days that I used to go hunting with my dad and not only squirrel hunting and, and uh, you know, moose hunting, deer hunting, and all the fishing trips we took together. And sure, I'll never forget the day that he died but most importantly, I'll never forget the days that he lived and took me on all those fishing trips and all those hunting trips. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video today. And if you have, please click, click that like button down below and that subscribe button. When you click either one of those buttons, it's like giving me a million dollar tip. I really appreciate it. But thanks for watching.